is a high degree of risk involved in trading cryptocurrencies. Our thoughts and ideas are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your personal advisor or do your own research. Past results are not indicative of future returns. Thank you. Good afternoon, Thursday, May 3rd. Surprises to the upside, we've been warning about that. Today we got green everywhere and uh, breaking out of the upside of some of these triangles. In front of us is the Pulse of the Market crypto software. You can see here that we have what we thought was a triangle. What's happening now is a triangle had to have end here at like 91.55, uh, which uh, means the E-wave was very short. That's still okay. That would be working support now. So 91.75 on this chart. You wouldn't want to see that taken out if we're still good. Volume here uh, led the rally. I mean, it, it did touch a new high here. So there's no uh, divergences in harmonious action as of yet. We'd love to see this OP continue higher here. So we will be watching that. But uh, for right now, everything looks okay. Let's drop in our uh, trading view software we've got uh, as everyone knows I'm looking for a uh, large triangle here we're down here trying to put the B wave rally in place we've called the rally off the lows perfectly so it would be five waves up for an A and then a B down and then a C up to complete the big B. So we should be on our way to doing this last wave five, which once again would be a uh, small A here. Then we'd have the B down and the C up to that 12,000 area that I've been talking about. So if we want to, let's go in and look a little bit closer, see what's happened here today. We had had this, uh, the D wave should have stopped around 9,300 and then had a pullback for the E. Again, you're going to say that we had that then. That's the only way to count that. And that supported the uh, 9,175. You'd want to see that support to hold now. So we're trying to do this five wave up if this count is correct. And then we would still have a B wave down. I don't know. We have to see how high this rally takes in the five to try to figure out a place for the B on the pullback. But uh, if this is a fourth wave, you know, we will retrace back to it at a later date. And again, guys, understand that uh, I've called this pretty well, but you know, there's different ways to read this. Uh, the fourth wave triangle could have started from down here. Uh, it could have ended here, and this is a one, two. So we've got to let this thing play out more all we can really say is the support at 9175 should hold for this rally to continue and uh let the thing go a little bit higher here and then just watch it over the next few days let's go over some of these other coins we've got uh there's bitcoin cash hasn't broken out yet but came out of the triangle actually did that even yesterday so uh Still good action. Dash 510, taking out its previous, what we thought was B wave. So once again, same as Bitcoin. Left the triangle behind already and now should can try to continue to the upside. Classic 2281 goes to a new high to 23, almost 2350. So uh, good action there in Classic. Ethereum 770. Uh, ran to almost 780. Once again, you would say support was 670 on the triangle. That was a very shallow E if that's what it was. But with the rally out of here, that does look like what it is. So uh, once again, a pullback after some high up here and then still onward and upward. Litecoin 163, we showed this triangle and uh, I was looking for a rally, which it has started that rally. We had shown we was looking for a rally to like 180 possibly, and then another pullback on its way to 220. So we're doing this rally to new highs here, 
180 was just my guess. We'll look at that in the next day or two. Neo uh, had that big run to 96, so it's still got to get above that high, but it's performing well here short term. OMG up 8.5%. Same thing, had a big run to 22. So uh, still performing well. We'd like to see a little more strength here, but I think we'll get it. Ripple, 88 uh, cents, 89 cents. Hasn't shown quite as much strength, but still, still looks good. ADA, not much today, but it's been extremely strong. So we'll let that one run still. EOS has had a little bit of trouble here after huge gains, but again, nothing to be alarmed about. XLM. XLM up 1%. Same thing. Really has been really strong. Today, uh, no big action, but we still like it. XVG USD, 80 cents. Let's look at this one a little bit closer. We had thrown the Wyckoff readings on this, so uh, some markings. Once again, we're going to go over that. If you uh, have taken the course, you'll know these. If not, I'd recommend the course. $299 is a steal. I think that's probably a $750 plus value. We add things to it as we go. Little short videos and also more lessons. We're adding a lesson about the Wyckoff Wave Crypto Index and the optimism pessimism here from the software. But this was big volume coming into the slow off of the news. So that was a selling climax. Then we had an automatic rally, and then a uh, secondary test. At that point, you're looking for sideways and volume to uh, basically contract. We did come down and do a spring. It was a low volume spring, so uh, no issue there. And then that's when you look for a sign of strength coming off the spring, which we did get back into the trading range. We tested it on lower volume a few times, and then uh, had a sign of strength here. And you really could call this a jump across the creek. So we could label that a jump across the creek into here. And then this would have been a backup. We backed up here. So we still think this, you know, we still think Verge can work higher. Probably could throw a trend line here now and uh, continue to see it to work higher. For now, we could throw a trend line in here. Let's clone that. So, you know, it, it could still back and fill, or also we could put an accelerated trend line from the test to the backup, which means we would continue higher sharply here. So again, I think everything's kind of following Bitcoin. So let's just, uh, let's watch it as we go. We've got Zen USD 4167. We've said we thought we'd have reaccumulation here because we do have higher objectives. Definitely the 4852. We're gonna have, there's gonna be higher than that as well. So uh, I think that's really the first objective as we move forward here. And, uh, you know, some of these higher objectives will take some time. ZRX ran up to uh, like buck 52. Extremely good performance there. It has slowed up the last few hours. But uh, once again, that's to the top of its overbought trend line on its uptrend. So definitely a place where it could stop and rest, which is probably all that it's doing. As you know, that's a coin that could get added to uh, Coinbase. That's the rumors. We've been in agreement with that. That is kind of the reason we first started looking at it. And uh, we've liked the action on the way up. And then uh, I know a few more coins here people are looking at. Let's go over a couple more here. Uh, ONT, BTC, continuing to work higher. Uh, Zill, BTC, same thing, continue to work higher. So a lot of these uh, coins are doing very well, making a lot of people uh, happy here. So uh, again, we'll be live tonight at uh, 6.30 Central Standard Time with Hitman Hellman. 
going over the day's action. And uh, hopefully this weekend, I'm, I am going home for the weekend. I'm still trying to do these updates as much as I can. And I keep saying it, but I will be going live in the mornings as well. Hopefully around 9 or 10 o'clock to pick up our overseas followers. And then still try to do these updates so somebody can come in and get a quick update and uh, keep it moving. Talk to you tonight. Are you trading or investing in the fast-moving and exciting cryptocurrency markets? If so, you need to learn how to identify primary trading opportunities by implementing the Wyckoff Trading Methods, which was created by world-renowned stock speculator Richard D. Wyckoff. This online course teaches all you need to know to increase your returns while minimizing your risk using the Wyckoff Trading Method. Over 915 students have enrolled in the course since its launch in late 2017. LearnCrypto.io is owned and operated by Wyckoff SMI, also known as Wyckoff Stock Market Institute, which has been an authority on the Wyckoff Trading Method for over 85 years. Founded by Richard Wyckoff in the 1930s, Wyckoff Stock Market Institute has owned the rights of the Wyckoff Trading Course since the beginning. Take advantage today of this excellent course and begin reaping the rewards of a time-tested method from the grandfather of technical analysis, Richard D. Wyckoff.